Rebels. Rebels never change. I'll tell you that much. Welcome back to EU4. It's Russia time. And, as everyone can bloody well see... <laughs> oh, oh man. It's not good. Not good at all. Okay, come on guys, we need you. Get your asses over here. Lazy bum smart traster. Alright. March. 13th of December, 23rd of December. Okay, and 22nd, 23rd, that's good. Beat him down. Beat him all down. Seriously, this is, bas this is basically our best shot. Combining three of our armies. I'm on manual control at this point. Getting rid of these guys. 30,000 of them. Let's chase them then. We'll fight the Sunni Zealots there. Those guys are too wounded. They can't retreat into these guys, right? Good, good. Okay, we wiped them all out. Oh boy, that, that, that was some rough... That was rough shit right there. That was rough shit. Oh man. 43 and 44. Those are the years when my overextensionism won't be the worst thing known to mankind. Um, seriously though, we're we're in a bit of trouble here. Overextensionism still at 188 percent. 43, 43. So that's 48 percent overextensionism. I'll lose right there. Down to 140. Then I'll lose another 16 and 44 early. So, uh, I think if I fall below 150, that's what some people have been telling me. That, uh, that's when it'll be okay. No guy nationalists, Tartar patriots, no guy nationalists, Estrakani nationalists. Do I even care? Like, I'm just gonna, I can't, I can just give them autonomous, autonomous rebels. Or, uh, give them autonomous local autonomy. That's the, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm just scramble-headed right now. Because I'm trying to run through various scenarios in my head of trying to figure out how I can solve this. This reminds me of the first time I played Russia in EU3, except this happened about 50 to 100 years later, and I'd already touched the Pacific Ocean, and I'd accidentally colonized so much I got overextension. And Avar, who was at the time playing as the Byzantines, um, had to actually come help and bail me out. Oh, I'd got so many rebels, and it was all in Siberia, so good luck trying to get anywhere there. Alright? Ugh. Alright. Okay. How close is Denmark to allowing us to westernize now? Six technologies ahead. I got nothing to lose by westernizing right now. Like, really. Hurry up and research shit. Like, how freaking long is it gonna take? Alright. Okay. That's another rebel I can give into the demands of. Russian peasants accept demands. Okay. Yep, there goes my last bit of stability. Is that a new record? No, oh, still 30%. At the end of the month, we'll see a new record, I'm sure. Uh, I think that's no guy nationalists. Yeah. That's fine, I don't even care. I'm gonna be taking a lot of bank loans here. That's gonna be the part that's most wounding, I think. Ugh. Yeah, local autonomy. Oh, what? No. What? Okay. Uh, this is this is this is this is gonna get tricky. 
tricky and why do you have to go through them? But you don't go through them. What the f damn AI. I actually need it to be semi logical about its decision making for once. And more more peasants. Peasants everywhere. Just Danish peasants are even, you know. Like, even the Danish peasants have come. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm just so bad, I'm attracting peasants from other nations to come revolt inside of me. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Hungary and Austria have gone to war. Well, Hungary looks like it's in trouble. Savalax, okay. Savalax, Savalax. There it is. Oh, God. Alright, squad two. Do your stuff. Ugh, get into position. I'm actually taking a loan. I expected that. Nor do I really care, but... Let's... Okay, let's give in to the others. Accept demands. Accept demands. There. Wipes out most of them. The only, the only rebels I have to fight are zealots here. But the reason I don't want to fight any rebels, um, or at least minimize those that I have to fight. Okay, you guys move up then. Um, yeah, we gained diplomatic insult against Poland. That's great. It's simply, I just don't have any manpower. I mean, look at this. Non-enforcement of ordinances. Sure, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, why the fuck not? 33% revolt risk in, uh, as a top... That's gotta be a high score, right? Okay, can we get at least a leader here? Uh, I don't know, I wanted to no leader him. And leader him. Okay. And now I know hell. <sighs> and of course, no, why would they ever be broken? That would be too easy. But yeah, we're just bloody well bleeding manpower out. <sighs> With only 350 recovering a month. And winter's about to set in on these guys. Lovely. I was hoping to be out of here before winter, but... It's not happening, let's face it. We do need to get them out of there, though. One at a time. Don't need them in the same province, that would just be doom. Do I not have a leader? Uh, I guess my military leader died. January 10th, January 9th. Alright, there, there we go. Good luck. Like I said, I only have to fight the religious ones. It's the only requirement that I fight the religious dudes. Okay. Another bout of Slaughterfest. Let's get you guys out. And... Come on already. There we go. You guys will follow. Let's try and get out of there before it's too late. Uh, well, that doesn't matter because we got guys there. Would have preferred to have the guys with the leader on that, but oh well. Nothing I can do now. And 
no leader. We put him. I, I know I shouldn't be having my king be a leader, but right now I need it. I don't care. Let's face it. Should probably get more military leaders. I'm gonna be losing a lot of uh, my monarch power later anyway. I inevitably do whatever. Uh, westernize. Okay. At least uh, they can stand out here without dying. I just continue to lose prestige somehow. I actually have no idea how. Um, I wonder how much trade power I have left in Novgorod. Not bad. I guess it does say trade power abroad, but oh well. I don't even care. Who take the damn province? It's not worth it. It's not worth it for me to keep fighting the peasants. I don't have enough manpower. I'm just slowly hoping that uh, eventually I'll be able to westernize. And eventually my overextension system will be gone. Okay, we're in the year 43, which is important. November. November. We just have to hold out until November. The state of constant war... Of our other economies, right? Yep. Lovely. That's another event for being over the infamy limit slash overextensionism limit. And I don't know why. The events just hit in groups, I guess. So let's gain some inflation, sure. Give in to that rebel. Handle them. Except demands. Done. Uh, thank god I can give in to so many different rebel demands. I like that. Base revolt risk. That's right, there is a base revolt risk of 15% in my country. <sighs> okay. I am going to have to fight these guys eventually. I can't just keep giving in to all of their demands. That's going to hurt too much in the long run. Because it's costing me a lot of money to do that. And a lot, and it even hurts my manpower to do it too. I don't know, it's just money for them. Less in taxes. I meant the uh, others. Sunni Zealots and Azov. And suddenly they just appear. No rhyme, no reason. Just 32 and 16. And I don't have the manpower to even consider doing anything about it at this point. But I have no choice but to try. Especially because that's a province that is to be cored. At least Zaphrosia will get its core. On time, and it looks like Kharkov will as well. So February of 44 will be okay. And even better once we take Yezdizen again. Why do you can why do you want to go through them? Damn it. Eh, that I don't care about. That I don't care about. Winter's catching up to us, so. What no? No, no, no. 69 days. They just undid that core. They're gonna stop Zephrosia now. No, that's just oh, 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 oh. No, that's just not fair. Uh, well, at least we got Kharkov. It's a start. Down 160%. I need to make sure Zephrosia doesn't fall, though. If Zephrosia falls, it's, it is game. I will not be able to uh, recore enough. As it is. Um... 27th, January 5th, fall back. No, 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 no. You, you keep going. 25. Okay. Come on. 
Let's try that again. Yeah, what, what day? 11th, 8th. 1, 2, 3. 11th. Okay, good. The shot I got. Because they're going to go join up with them. Luckily, they won't have any morale, so. Come on, Zephrosia, become a core. I need you as a core right now. You can end it. You've ended it, I hope. 144% overextensionism. We're managing it, that's for certain. Um, Voltavia, you're next. Whatever I can do to reduce overextensionism at this point is paramount. Yeah, this is the part where my manpower just runs out. At any chance of me being successful, kind of goes with it. Yep, there we go. And now they're just going to flat out retrieve to Novgorod. Lovely. Uh, we're completely fucked. Uh, well, we're down to 31% maximum revolt risk. That's, that, that's an improvement. Anyway, uh, I'll be ending this episode here. I think I need to go cry for a while. Oh, this is, this is hell. I took just a little too much, I think. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, this has been your host, Kelvin, signing off.